You are watching Jancy's Corner. Hi guys, today we are going to make nilupak na kamuting kahoy or what we call mashed cassava. So let's start by peeling the skin of the cassava. Cassava has a very thick skin, so please take note how we are going to remove the skin. Once you have known the technique, it would be easier for you to do it. And do this to the rest of the cassava. In this video, we are going to use two medium-sized cassava. So once everything is skinned, cut it about 2 inches long, then divide it into half the circumference. It should look like this. So the next step that we're going to do is we're going to boil the cassava. To do this, we're going to add 1 teaspoon of salt and the water just below the level of the cassava. Cover and boil it at a medium-high setting until the cassava is soft. After 30 minutes, check the cassava if it is already cooked. Using the fork, poke the cassava and check whether it's soft enough and ready for mushing. Otherwise, continue boiling until it is perfectly soft. Once cooked, drain the fluids and remove the stem which is the hard part in the middle of the cassava. This part is inedible. In a large bowl, add the cassava and start mushing using the pestle. Notice that I have started it in a few bits and then add little by little until everything is done. Next, add the melted butter and continue mushing the cassava. Once you have mixed it very well, you can add sugar or if you want to be a bit healthy, you can add honey. This will give a sweet flavor to the linopak. Then add the milk to have a creamy taste. Mix and adjust the taste if necessary. Once happy with the flavor, put it in a molding pan. Flatten accordingly and transfer it to the serving plate. Flatten it once again and tidy the top part. To give a little bit of a design, you can use a fork to scrape the top part area.
and you can also sprinkle cheese on the top to add the creaminess onto it. Once done, cut it in a rectangular shape according to the size that you prefer. Now you can enjoy eating it. So thank you guys for watching this video until the end and I hope to see you again next time so please don't forget to subscribe in our YouTube channel for more recipe and tips. So for detailed measurements of our ingredients please click the link below or visit us at www.jnccorner.com.